Look at these guys though, how happy they are. I remember when Nostradamus was this small. I can't believe that I'm gonna be able to get a well-started Aldabra tortoise from Sam. No way, you got her all polished up. Yeah. She's got her turtle wax on her, look at her. Oh my God, she's beautiful, Sam. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, that's awesome. Are you gonna eat for me already? Oh, that's the best sign ever. If you see giant tortoises like this, it means I'm in one place, only one place. Sam Pascucci's, we're hanging out of Florida, Iguana and Tortoise Breeders. And yes, my sister is still visiting. I love my oh, big God. sister. I've been taking her to all the cool places. But today we actually have a couple things we're gonna do. Um, number one, I'm very excited today because Sam has uh, been very gracious. I've been looking for a female Aldabra for Nostradamus. This gal's about 16 inches, so she's a bit smaller than Nostradamus, but yeah. it's a heck of a head start, man. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, you know, I've, I figured I'd give you a jump start. Oh, I appreciate that. So we're gonna we're gonna be getting a new gal. Can we go and see, see yeah. a load her? Yeah. yeah. The other thing that's crazy is you guys know Sam and I have done videos about the iguana band here in Florida. Uh, Sam uh, produced a lot of albinos, and by the way, here's. Adolf, doing very well, very happy. Sam produces a lot of exotic morphs, red iguanas, blue iguanas, albinos, hypos, albinos, hypos everything. Red example. But now Sam has to get rid of how many? About 200. 200 because I he can- find homes for them. Yes. So I'm, a I'm asking you guys, uh, that don't live in Florida. This is serious stuff. Right. Um, you're considering just taking offers like um, Yes, I have a I have a special page set up on my website floridaguana.com slash um, Offers, okay, and uh, you open up that page There's an inventory list there I have what I would normally sell them for and there's a column that you can make an offer push the button No payment is required, but I do need your name your phone number your email address And if you're thinking about buying just your method of payment and so I'm gonna do one of three things I'm either gonna accept the offer or I'm gonna decline the offer or I, I may put the offer in pending and what pending really means is You know, I'm kind of waiting to see if I get a better offer. I've got to try to make the most out of what I have left here. It's, yeah. a, it's a tremendous loss. I don't have to tell you, Kenan. It's a tremendous loss. I've got to try to recover as much as I can. And most of all, I've got to get those animals in people's hands because I don't want fish and wildlife to euthanize them. Because so, that's what will happen. That's what will happen. They, and, it, and it's happened before. They did it to Thai yeah. Parks animals. So yeah. let's, um, we're going to use the power of the, the people here at Camp Kenan. If you guys live outside of Florida and you want a beautiful iguana, um, you know, th these different colors different and stuff. morphs, uh, uh, hypos, red hypos. Yeah, the, this is. I have a new morph nobody's worked on before, which yeah. is a red exanthic cross with a hypo. Maybe, maybe we could take a look at a few of them. Yeah, uh, okay. You know, what I'll do is we'll, we'll just show this video. It's, right. We'll, we'll just keep moving along. But yeah, guys, keep that in mind. We're gonna re revisit that in a little bit. Holy smokes, so is this the enclosure where these guys are, where right, my gal is, is? This is the enclosure, yeah. Okay. Do you know, you know which female it is, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know you know, my friend. Let's go, let's see what we got here. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, look at these Aldabras. Wow, this is awesome. It's not here. It's not here? Where'd it go? <laughs> look at these guys though, how happy they are. I remember when Nostradamus was this small, but this is a nice, well-started uh, group. And that's what's so cool about what Sam's got going on here. These are animals that were actually imported right from the Seychelles. And he raises them up under the uh, watchful supervision of him and his employees. But yeah, you can see they're eating some cactus right now. They've got this amazing bed of hay and they're so active, huh? What do you think, Di? Pretty cool, right? This is cool stuff, man. So it's a lot of fun. I always say that these guys are like cows and horses with shells. Uh, Diane grew up riding horses. And I remember always being at the barns as a kid. I would play on the manure piles because they were mountainous manure piles. I didn't really realize that it was poop that I was playing on. But there were always uh, animals to chase around in Eastern Long Island. We'd find box turtles as kids. We'd find, um, we, had a, we had an old cesspool which is like a septic tank that was dried out. Um, do you remember, do you remember in Santa Rosa? Yeah, you don't remember that? You don't remember all the snakes 
that were at the bottom no. that we rescued? Yeah, Kenny Robbins me? jumped not in. Me. Not you, but Kenny Robbins jumped into this cesspool. We moved the lid. A bunch of snakes, garter snakes, had fallen in it, and it became like a pit for snakes. So they jumped down, they grabbed all these snakes and got them on out. I remember that. I can't believe you don't remember that. Oh, huh, that's funny. I did not dream that up. But this is awesome, guys. I can't believe that I'm gonna be able to get a well-started uh, Aldabra tortoise from Sam. It's just amazing, man. Look at this one. This is awesome. And Sam's been doing this a long, long time. So he basically knows that, you know, through his expertise, he realizes which ones are kind of showing the characteristics for being a female. Um, and that's important. I'd love to get a gal so that Nostradamus has a little buddy. So it'd be about 10, at this size, I'm looking at about 10 years, 10 or 15 years before they are actually able to really be bred, you know? Um, but I'm more, just more excited to have another uh, Aldabra because when I originally got Nostradamus, they were much smaller. I, I got Nostradamus with another tortoise. And when I got them, they were both the same size, but sadly one died from pneumonia. And once I saw the outward signs of pneumonia, um, which was gaping breath and, uh, you know, fluid from the nares, I brought it to the vet and that animal was gone within 24 hours. So, uh, did, did we locate the tortoise? We did, we did locate. Okay. And it, it's on a slow train here. Okay, wait, I think I, I do see someone coming on out here. No way, dude. That is insane, Sam. Look at this tortoise. Holy sh... I'm gonna say a bad word, holy... That's awesome. No way, you got her all polished up. Yeah. She's got her turtle wax on her, look at her. Oh my God, she's beautiful, Sam. Yeah, there you go. Oh my God. Look at her, guys. This is our new girl. Oh man. Oh, she my. lets you scratch her and everything. Oh, she'll, she's she'll perfect. And, everything. and she's just, just got stone. such beautiful size on her, buddy. Yeah. Um, what, what a great shape, too. She's very, uh, very dome. See how, how, how uh, you know, how dome she is for yeah. the length that she is. She has a great dome. Oh my God. She is my little, she's not a chrome dome. But she's definitely my little, uh, what we're gonna call her Cersei, I think, is what Kate okay. and the kids were thinking. We'd call her Cersei. And look uh, at those back legs, how nice yep. they stand up. Exactly. Flat, she's, that whole pad hits the ground. Yes. That's what you're looking for. Nice posture on these guys. Yep. You know, people worry about that with the galops, but you gotta look at that also. Look at this one here. You, oh, wow. She's see standing. See the way that's standing there? Look at that. That's gonna be a great animal. You can just see the personality in an animal like that. Yeah, when they're this young. Yeah, they're this young. Right. You guys, you see, when they're this young and they let you, look at this. Look, look at that. And they just let you scratch. Yep. You're, that's and why Sam's the, place is the best. St that statue, that's yep. the freeze finching mode. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. Where is she going? There's my shiny girl right there. I think you, you polished her up for the, the video, buddy. Uh, you know, we all got to get dressed up before we go out. Yeah, man. This is so sick. I can't believe it. I am so thrilled. I can't wait to get her home. Um, what I'm gonna do is obviously she's still too small to put in with the big girls and boys. So I'm gonna raise her up. I was thinking about raising her up with some of the radiators. What do you think about that? Would you keep her totally isolated? It's, I, I mean, I have I the have ability no to do it. I have no experience mixing Aldabras with radiators. Okay, you've seen it done before though, have you? Yes, a lot of people do it. I yeah. think they have similar personalities. They're both pretty chill tortoises. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know about the radiated bales if they're if they're ramming or okay. Well, you know what I'll do. That's what you'd have to figure right. out. Right. All right. You have to see how they get along. They could be young enough. They can get along anyway. Yeah. You know? I just they're they're of similar size to her. Right. So maybe you know I do have other options as well yeah. that I can safely house her in. Um, but my gosh, this is awesome. And how long have these animals been here? You mean her? Yeah. No, I got her in two days ago. Oh, okay. So this is a special yeah. arrival for me. Okay. Yeah. And then these guys. This is a gentleman on the West Coast. Oh, okay. That, gotcha. Uh, that, you know, needed to rehome an animal. Okay. So, uh, you wow. know, what I did was. Yep. I hear allow, you, buddy. Allow that to happen and, you know, 
You're being very, very good to me is what you're doing. So that's awesome, man. Holy smokes, I'm thrilled. So before we go ahead and get her all set up, I do want to revisit what we were talking about with the iguana. Yeah, sure. uh, let's walk over there. Okay, Can we walk yeah. over? Yeah. All right, so we're going to come back and get her. And I'm, of course, going to finish this video uh, at my house with that little gal in her new enclosure. Um, but what I want to do is I really think this is such an important, um, it's, it's just such an important oh, thing absolutely. to help Sam out. You guys have watched Sam for many years on, on my channel, and um, I want to make sure. Take the outside here. Yeah, that way you're back at me here. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry. Um, so what I wanted to do, look at you. You're just sticking fingers in. You don't know these lizards. <laughs> she's just, them. she's, she's count them. Yeah, happy. he's happy. Who's that? Uh, this is Radcliffe. Oh, Radcliffe. He's a Lewis eye. He's awesome. And I've got a video coming out where he just about bit the female's arm off. You know, I, off. that's crazy. I just separated Lola and Guapo, my Cuban rock iguanas, because she was biting him. Uh-huh. Uh, so... Pre-laying pre, pre, pre laying season. Oh. Uh, yeah, where, just a little territorial aggression. Yeah, maybe she's not... He's in a spot that she wants or something like that. Gotcha. You okay. Know, she wants to... She's trying to con, confine... You know, if they want to get the males out of the area they're going to lay in. Gotcha. Okay. So maybe that's what it is. You know, the problem is... He'll put up with it for a little while, but if he wants to breed her and she's not cooperating, then that's when trouble happens. Gotcha, okay. Well, so you've separated them. But um, going back to my original thought, we're walking on over to see some of these uh, green iguana morphs. I wanted to show you guys some of the beautiful animals Sam has. Go over to FloridaIguanas.com, FloridaIguana.com, right? FloridaIguana.com. FloridaIguana.com. So here's, here we go. So we're gonna walk on in here. Um, I just think it's super important. You guys have seen Sam so much on the channel. Let's help him out. If you were looking for a really cool iguana to take care of, remember these get big. These are big lizards. They're a larger lizard, but these are beautiful. So be responsible. Don't just think because you're getting a deal just to buy it. Let's be responsible here. And so we've so been in this room before. What I've kind of done is, you know, I've got two weeks to make this happen. So I've kind of compact everything. Uh, I've got a Get, get it you know one spot so th these are hypos wow. just some of these hypos beautiful all right these are hets or just yeah. regular greens yeah these these are uh het for colombian this is a blue morph pectinata Whoa. this is an albino without a half for sale this guy is uh he's got a little bit of a curly tail but he's only four hundred dollars he's a nice he's a nice yeah he's a nice calm male wow these are these are um het for hypos there's a red head for hypo. See that? This is pied. Oh, you that's check a beautiful that, spiny that guy tail. Out there. Yeah, that's a beautiful lizard. These are well, red head for hypo here. Whoa, look at that. So these are nice, always, a nice lot of them are young, yeah. Yeah. So there's more hypos. This is red exantic. This is that cross I was telling you about. Here, open that up. We'll get a good look at it. Wow. So this is a cross between red exantic and red head hypo okay so right. actually what they're it, what it is it's a double head it's a red iguana that's head for hypo and red exantic okay interesting and so if you breed those together you know i think there's a one in 24 chance that you end up with a visual red exantic hypo which hasn't happened yet yeah it's like he's talking another language to me because <laughs> i'm i'm so bad with the morphs and stuff but head, you can see these are crimson, beautiful animals yeah for crimson here all right so there you go I just wanted to give them, uh, you know, and the rest, you know, there are animals available. If if these animals don't get sold, they will be uh, euthanized by Florida Fish and Wildlife. So that's why we're appealing. We're appealing to those of you, if you ever were interested in a, a morph iguana or just a green iguana, look at this. These yeah. are breeders. These are beautiful. And these yeah. are all going. Yeah, all these breeders. These are my breeders. Wow. Red Exantic and Red, red Hypo. Wow. These are pies, obviously, they're not going. They're not going. None of the Centinosaur are going. Red pets hypo. These wow. are pets, actually, right here. Okay. And then I have over here, these guys are, um, these are these are my breeders, which are, which will make uh, super crimsons. Wild. So this is het for, 100% for, uh, het for crimson. So I do produce crimsons from that group, and it's 2.2. Okay, there you go, guys. But you know what? Go to FloridaIguana.com. Check out the offers page. Let Sam know you you saw it on our video, okay? We're gonna get this video out ASAP. He's got some babies available as well. 
This is kind of neat. These this are all is, available. Yeah, these are head for hypo. Okay, look at the colors on these. And then some albino. That's an albino, no? Yeah. It is, okay. So they're available. Look at this a guy. Hypo. A hypo. A hypo, okay. Hypo. And then, oops, that's... Yeah, that's what happens. Okay, no worries. Everything is sun. here just the temporarily until we get rid yep. of all these animals. Would you get... Out. So I'm just appealing to you guys. Mm -hmm. If you're interested, pull one out, Sam. Let's have a look. Jeez, look at that. That's gorgeous. What a shame. But you know what? If we can get most of these guys gone, that'd be a, a yeah. big plus. Yeah, I've yeah. got, I've got two weeks. Probably by the time they see this, I'll probably have ten days. Yeah. Um, um, I've got everything in one spot. I'm ready to ship fast. So okay. Got to make it happen. Make it happen, Camp Ken and Army. Get out there. Uh, but in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna get that tortoise all dialed in, and uh, we'll pick it up at the house, where we're. Got to get an enclosure. We got to put this tortoise uh, in an enclosure. I think I'm going to just do what you said. I'll raise it up on its own uh, and and get it nice and big and introduce it to yeah, the, to it, the she'll group. Yeah, she'll grow fast. Oh, yeah, know. definitely. So Sam. She could, be, she could be four inches bigger next year. Dude, I can't thank you enough. Oh, no. Uh, this is Great. an amazing opportunity for me. So thank you so oh, much. Okay. And uh, we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All See right, you in a minute. Take care, folks. Bye. Okay, there's Cersei. She's... Uh, waiting for me to put her in a new home and here's what i've decided to do we're going to grab up the three smaller um radiated tortoises which are right here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to move them and graduate them into the front with the adults because they are definitely big enough to cohabitate with oh, some tortoises that are actually of their own species okay so let's go ahead and do this i'll go ahead and grab the other one that's right here. She, oh, careful. She's right down here. Hi, little one. Oh, they're going to be happy. Let's go ahead and do this. Awesome stuff, man. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead, move them out front. They've been in there for almost, oh gosh, a long time now. And uh, we know that they're not sick. So, it's okay to kind of introduce them to the big boys and girls, which are right here. Look at this. Oh, you can wander around real far now, little one. Come on. There you go. All right. So now there'll be 11 in that enclosure. All right. Let's go get the final one out. And then we get to put Cersei in that area and she'll grow up and we'll make sure she's fed nicely. And uh, yeah, I'm excited, man so cool um to have the opportunity to raise up another aldabra especially one that my buddy sam got for me you know i'm very lucky i uh have such good friends that appreciate me and i appreciate them and wow i just to raise up an aldabra again is so much fun and have a little female to kind of introduce Nostradamus down the road is going to be cool. Okay, there you go. You guys are good now. Have fun out here, okay? Nice and warm. Gosh, it's just awesome out. It's in the 80s, just the most perfect weather. Nice and dry in the air, no humidity. Whew, I love winter in Florida. Okay, let's go get Cersei and get her in here. Now she's a little heavier than those uh, those radiata. But I'm gonna go for it and just pick her up. Hey little love. Oh, hey my little love. Come on. Oh, you just stay right with me. Woo hoo. Look at this beauty. Look at that precious angel. I can't wait for Kate and the kids to see this gal. She is spectacular. Okay, little love. Oh, she's in my pocket. All right, come on, come on, come on. There you go, there you go. You're gonna be living up here for a little while, okay? Awesome, man. Oh my God, such a gorgeous tortoise. That is incredible. The shell, as ta as um, Sam said, is perfectly domed. No pyramiding. Just a well done animal. Just a beautifully raised up animal. I can't wait to continue that. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at her. She's exploring already. We know that she can't climb out, which is fantastic. Okay. Look at her looking around. That is awesome. 
Oh, that's so cool, man. I can't believe it. What an honor, you know? Let's go over here real quick. I, I'm just curious. Let's see if she's interested in having a little nibble from some cactus. I like to break it so they can smell it. Let's just see what she thinks of all this, huh? Cactus camera. Let's see. Come on. What do you think? You're in the mood to eat already? What do you think? What do you think? Come on. Oh, this is good. Are you going to eat for me already? Oh, that's the best sign ever. That's the best. Wow. We've got a very happy tortoise. She's already eating. That's just huge. So I'm not even worried about her settling in. That is awesome, huh? And that's what happens when you get an animal from a guy like Sam. Like, uh, they're just going to be well-adapted animals, happy animals, and I am just so thrilled that I get the chance to raise up another Aldabra tortoise, and hopefully one day in my future we'll have baby Aldabras, because now i got a male and a female. So she's got a ways to go before she's big enough to breed, but you know what? I ain't got nothing but time, and uh, I'm so happy I was able to share this with you guys. What a fun day today. Uh, shout out to my big sister. I'm glad she came along for the ride. She's been here for a few videos and uh, I love sharing my life with my family and I'm glad that my sister was having a great time too. She's got to go back to New York so I love her. I love my whole family so I'm really honored that she came down and hung out with me and I'm honored that Sam trusts me to raise up such a beautiful animal. All right, everyone, thanks so much for joining me today on this mini adventure here to get a new tortoise. And you'll be seeing a lot more of Cersei. We'll be keeping an eye on her and getting her nice and big. Take care.